Would you like to improve your memory and focus? I know I would. An improved memory, focus, and better ability to pay attention can help us better understand information and remember all the things we've worked so hard to learn. And this can be super beneficial, not just in our studies, if we're going back to school, but in our work and our life. My name is Stacy, and I'm one of the staff herbalists here at the Herbal Academy. And I'm really excited today to get to share with you four supportive herbs that help enhance memory and focus. And not only that, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate them into a delicious memory boosting nut butter that you can use on a daily basis. All four of the herbs that we'll be discussing today are nootropic and adaptogenic in nature. Nootropics support brain and nervous system function, and this includes memory enhancement, blood flow, and cognitive function. Adaptogenic herbs help the body adapt to change and deal with external stressors, and they're also helpful in supporting brain health. Without further ado, let me introduce you to these four wonderful herbs. First up is lion's mane, which is a rare edible mushroom that has a long history of use as a longevity tonic for the mind. Its neuroprotective properties may help preserve and rejuvenate cerebral function. This is an excellent choice for long-term brain support, and it makes up the bulk of our recipe today as far as the herbs go. And it may help improve memory and focus during study sessions. Next we have bacopa, which is traditionally used to support healthy brain function. Bacopa is especially helpful in promoting memory and focus, and this might be due to its ability to modulate neurotransmitters, scavenge free radicals, and increase cerebral blood flow. This herb is often used with adults dealing with ADHD. The next herb we are including is Gotu Cola, and this is considered a calming adaptogen and mildly stimulating nootropic. It's especially helpful in reducing mental fatigue and improving concentration. Gotocola has a soothing effect on the nervous system and provides support to those experiencing anxiety, irritability, or burnout. Interestingly, Gotocola and Bacopa are sometimes referred to by the common name Brahmi, which is certainly confusing, so be sure to look for the Latin binomial when purchasing herbs so you can be certain of what you're buying. We've included the Latin binomials for each botanical discussed here today in our corresponding blog post, so be sure to check that out. The link is in the description below. Lastly, we will be including rhodiola, which is well loved as an adaptogen and is known to enhance brain function, support alertness, mental clarity, and may even boost one's ability to concentrate for long periods of time and memorize information. Rhodiola has the strongest stimulating effect of all the herbs we're using today. However, it's not as stimulating as coffee. Small to moderate doses often boost energy, but interestingly, large doses can have a sedative effect. Now I've introduced you to the herbs, let's get started making our herbal memory boost nut butter. First, we'll need to put a quarter cup of nut butter in a bowl. Now, I do recommend starting with just a quarter cup. I know this doesn't make a ton of nut butter, but just to be sure that you like it and you don't wanna waste any herbs, I think this is the best way to go. I am using almond butter today, but you can use any nut butter that you like. Next, we'll add two teaspoons of honey. Now, the honey is actually quite important here because it does help take away some of the bitterness that some of these herbs do have, but also it helps thin the nut butter a little bit and bulk it up, which makes it easier to stir in the herbs. Of course, it is perfectly acceptable to leave out the honey if you are fine with the taste of these herbs, and that is perfectly okay. Just do what tastes best to you. Stir the honey and the nut butter until well combined, and then you can start to add the herbs. Add the lion's mane first, we are using two teaspoons, and stir that until it's well blended. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get it mixed up the best you can. Next, we'll add half teaspoon of bacopa, a quarter teaspoon of gotu cola, and a quarter teaspoon of rhodiola. Stir the herbs until well combined. Now, depending on the nut butter that you're using, this can get a little stiff and hard to stir because we're incorporating so many herbs. Almond butter, I find, is quite thick, and so it does take a little extra muscle, but it's certainly not anything too strenuous. Continue to stir until all the herbs are well incorporated. 
Now, if you would like, you can taste your creation here and see if you might want to add a little more honey. That is perfectly fine. Once it is as you would like it, store it in an airtight container in the fridge. This herbal nut butter tastes great spread on muffins or toast, but you can also add it to smoothies or even include it in some kind of fun creations like homemade nut butter cups or stuffed dates. You also have the option of eating it straight off the spoon. Another method for creating this herbal nut butter would be to use a food processor. You would just put your nut butter and honey in the food processor, sprinkle the herbs over the top, and then process it until smooth. This is a really good option for if you decide you want to make this in larger amounts. And it also works well if you are someone who makes your own nut butter because if you're using your food processor to make your nut butter, then you can just add the herbs at the end of that process and you'll have your herbal nut butter ready to go. Using herbs for memory and focus is a great way to enhance brain function and improve learning. I hope you'll take some time to make this delicious nut butter and incorporate it into your life. If you do, we'd love to hear what you think about it. And be sure to visit the accompanying blog post because we've included a lot more detail there about each of these herbs and how they can be used. Click the link below to go straight to the blog post and please share this with your friends if you think they would enjoy learning more about using herbs for memory and focus. I'll see you next time.